So, Bill, you are, you're chasing a story. It's a heartbreaking story about a little girl who is suffering with alopecia. What do you got? That's right, Bill. I'm chasing the story of a six-year-old with alopecia. Amelia is from Morganville in Monmouth County. So Amelia is just an, an amazing rock star. She's already, just at six, already does ballet and hip hop. What's in your bag? My hip hop clothes. Your hip hop clothes? Really? Mm -hmm. You have hip hop class and you're six? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amelia has beautiful blonde hair, shoulder length and wavy. But what you don't realize is that she's wearing a wig. Amelia has alopecia, and she told me that she started losing her hair excessively when she was four. When did you realize you were losing your hair? Um, I was about four years old. Four years old, and what did you notice? Um, it was starting to fall out in the shower. Okay. And then did you get worried, or what happened? Um, I got kind of worried, and I asked my mom if I had cancer. Amelia told me about situations in school where she has been teased about it. The fifth grader walked up to me and said, is that your real head? And I started walking out of the bathroom without telling him anything. He said, is that your real head? Yes. Oh, no. So I... Did that make you cry? Or No. No? No? The wig that she was wearing was actually donated to her by Danielle Grillo. Danielle Grillo is the owner of the place I was at. I've known this little girl her whole life. So I said, I'll, I'll, I'll do something. We'll, we'll, just, we'll just do something. To me, the takeaway is look at this kid. She's smiling. She's smiling with the wig. She's smiling without the wig. She stood up to the bully who was picking on her. I mean, I, there are adults that are so vain that they can't handle, you know, a bad hair day. And this kid is out smiling and positive. Yeah, she, she's a really, really spectacular young lady, but she was, you know, focused on her homework and finishing that. I just want to go off of what Bill said about her bright smile and her attitude. Uh, oftentimes, the young people that are struck with unfortunate circumstances like this, uh, everybody wants to feel bad for them, and they're the last people that feel bad That's for right. themselves. They're always the beacon of pr uh, hope and pride for their families. It uh, almost seems like she future. doesn't need the wig. I mean, yeah. she's not <laughs> hiding from anything, right? right I right. mean, just go out there and face the world. You're already doing great. When she took it off, she said, it's great. Now I don't have to sweat. There you go. <laughs> Thanks a bit.